Ron, uh, Jen Psaki said that that win would put a skip in your step. So thank you for skipping over to our yes. microphone this evening for this and discussion. Thank you for not, and thank you for not showing me skipping. I appreciate that. No, we're, we have that video for later. We're going to show that later. Uh, Ron, uh, what was that moment like uh, for all of you in the White House who were waiting for it? Well, I mean, obviously, it's enormously significant. Historically, this is something no president's done since John F. Kennedy to hold uh, Senate seats and potentially even go up one Senate seat pending the outcome in Georgia to keep control of the Senate, which will indeed allow the president to uh, pass legislation in the Senate and, of course, get people confirmed. And in some ways, perhaps most for historical purposes, the ability to get our judicial nominees confirmed by a Democratic Senate. And so that is one of the most important legacies of any president and a very, very important legacy to this president. And so uh, winning the Senate, keeping control of the Senate is just, a, you know, an unbelievable moment. You mentioned the Kennedy presidency. That's that that midterm is 60 years ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And we know that in the White House, the president, the vice president and the White House chief of staff all participate in both governing and political campaigning issues and strategizing and considerations. And that means that Ron Klain is the most successful Democratic White House chief of staff in a midterm, first midterm election since 1962. Uh, the job that you held then was then held by Kenneth O'Donnell, not related yeah. to me in any way, from Massachusetts. Uh, what does it feel like for you personally? Because a lot of people were watching the job you were doing uh, over the last two years and over the last year, questioning how you were handling that job. What, what, what does this victory mean for you? Uh, what it means is I work with an incredibly talented group of uh, people, uh, starting off with uh, General Mally Dillon, who was the deputy chief of staff and oversees our political operation, uh, the president's chief strategist, Mike Donilon, uh, his chief communications guru, Anita Dunn, uh, Steve Reschetti, our legislative team. You just go down the line, uh, Keisha Lance Bottoms, who came in to oversee our outreach uh, in advance of the camp, uh, this election year. So, I mean, I, I am lucky to work with an amazingly diverse team of people, an amazingly talented team of people, uh, an amazingly dedicated team of people, and uh, they certainly, uh, you know, just work night and day to help deliver this result. 